Hello. I hope you're doing well. I have a really cool message for you today that it came to me when I was in the water yesterday. And I didn't make a video yesterday about it, so today is the day. Um, if you didn't know, I have a deep love of the ocean and surfing. I'm about to go out right now. And for about three years, I took a break from surfing because of where I lived, my work, you know, I was on deployments and I lived three hours from the ocean when I was in that area. So basically for three years, the thing I love the most, I let go of it because I had to, I, it didn't fit in my world. And I titled this video, Don't Give Up, because a lot of times we have to let go. There's a season, like you're a new, you're a new mother or you move somewhere where you can't do the thing that you love, or you stop going to the gym because of COVID, or you stop doing, um, going to do your yoga thing because you're taking care of your mother, or you're taking care of your grandparents. So a lot of times we have seasons in our lives where we let go of things that we love because it's a season. Now, I want to tell you that when I got back in the water, when I moved out here where I live now, and I got back in the water after three years of not being in the water. It was very humbling. I sucked. I, I, had, I struggled a lot. I felt like a beginner all over again. And I wanted to tell you that because when we stop something for a long period of time and then we get going again, it's like we're put on their beginner pants. And a lot of times our ego, like our pride gets in the way from doing things. We're like, oh, I don't want to start again. I don't want to get up. I don't want to set my alarm clock, all these things. And I just want to encourage you to get on the horse of whatever it is that you've let go of for a chapter for a little while and get back on the horse and go for it. And don't give up on that thing that you love, whether it's taking walks or doing art or riding your bike or going to the yoga studio or going to the gym or whatever the case may be. I don't know what that would be for you. You can totally tell me like what's something you've had to give up for a period of time and you miss it, but you feel kind of like, oh, I got to start all over again. Well, it's worth it. It is so worth it because last year, gosh, has it been a year? Yeah, about a year ago. So don't give up on it. Go out there. I call it eating humble pie when we have to like start all over again with something that we gave up for a long period of time. We have to eat the humble pie. It's a humility lesson and it sucks and it really sucks to suck. <laughs> It sucks to suck at things and, and be humbled by becoming a beginner again. But I encourage you to like not give up on whatever it is that you want to do that maybe even for that period of isolation you had to give up for some reason or because you're taking care of someone or something. And I think that what's on the other side of going through that beginner phase again is really worth it. So I hope this message reaches someone that needed to hear it today. And I hope you have a really nice day and I will talk to you soon in the next video.